here at the Millennium Conference here in Florida, we're in Fort Lauderdale. We got some of our razor cuts, and just let me say, I'm here with Modern Salon. Hashtag Modern Salon, <laughs> right here, right now. This is the hashtag, and uh, this is one of my short haircuts from today, all cut with a razor. We kind of decorated, because one of the things that Erosia has just come out with are these amazing hair jewelry pieces with a designer called Epona Valley. This is our short razor cut. Lots of shortness on the inside. Everything cut with a razor with a nice long overhang. Now the razor's good. I lost connection. Did you? No. Keep, keep going for Instagram Live and then I'm gonna let you know when we're back. Sorry everybody. Thanks. Hi everybody, it's Maggie. We're going to go back on Facebook, but enjoy Nick, he's amazing. So, so what we're gonna do now is we do short haircuts, but we also do long haircuts. So this is our nice wrong, our nice, our nice wrong. <laughs> this is our nice long beach wave lock, natural color. We cut the bangs today on stage. We've been up here nice and early. What a great conference started at 7 a.m. So it's, uh, we can come in from the night before straight to work. Beautiful highlighting, bangs, lots of beachy waves. And then here, this is our little amethyst inspired. Lauren, come on around here. So you was busy. This is Lauren, one of the colors from Erosia. What do we do color-wise here? Okay, so we use Goldwell color, and we needed to lift her roots, so I used 30 volume. And then to give it that smoky lavender look, I used clear with just a few milliliters, about 10, of 5VA. Yeah, Looks that's great. It. And then with the haircut, again, just loose razor layers, keeping it long. I did a little face frame. The great thing about the razor is it can go from short to long and it kind of creates these seamless layers. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over here and we're gonna do some live demonstrating and we'll share with you how we're gonna work our razor. So this is the Erosio razor. We open the razor. So that we open the razor, literally to give you a 45 degree angle, V for victory. You place the razor right into the base of the fingers so you're right in here, and then you'll notice I push, and the razor now becomes my magical tool. And what we'll do is we'll show you some of the fundamentals of razor cutting. What's your name again, sweetheart? Colleen. Colleen's a student. She's a future professional. She's been helping me backstage, and now she said, you can take my head and cut it. So I <laughs> said, good. We're gonna be cutting Colleen's pre-cut some of it. Pass me my hydro mist. It should be around here somewhere. I got my entire crew helping me out. Prepping the hair for razor cutting is a good idea. We're working with the Rojo Hydro Mist. This is a lightweight spray conditioner. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna work on creating some lines in the razor cutting. So we'll section this hair out from the center. We'll bring our camera right in nice and close. Come on in right, nice and close, right behind me there. I just need a clip from my wonderful assistants here. What's your name? Alex. Alex, Alex also Nick. from the school. We're coming, hang on. We're you? coming back, baby. We're coming back. All right, we're back. To Modern Salon. We are back. I've got the razor in the hand, and we're going to show you some line work, working with a straight edge blade. You've got to keep moisture in the hair, because moisture enables you to glide through the hair really nice and smoothly. Take nice, clean, small sections, and what we're gonna do is a thing that we call edge work. With edge work, it's using the edge of the blade. So we're gonna comb the hair nice and tight. You gotta keep it nice and tight, and now we're gonna use what we call the edge of the blade to just put in the line. So you can see the line in my fingertips. This is using the side edge of the blade, hitting the hair, at literally 90 degrees. So you start to see the build up of the shape. Let's go on the opposite side. Lauren's gonna come in and hold a section for me. Great. Now we're gonna go the opposite way. One of the benefits of razor cutting is you can actually cut from the center to the back of each ear very easily. Look at the cleanness of the line. So as we start to sit this hair in, you'll start to see that it's really nice and more of a clean buildup in the shape. Take the section out, wide teeth of the comb. This is the razor comb. 
We rotate the razor comb in our hand. It's, it's really important to have a brilliant comb when you're razor cutting. This is the Erosio razor comb. What that does is it means that I've got another perfect tool to help me with my razor cutting. You're gonna look for your guideline. There it is. As you take this section, again, nice and tight, and we're gonna cut literally on the line. So remember, this is edge work. We're using the edge of the blade, and the edge of the blade is gonna help me just to establish the line in the hair. I'll stay on this side because the camera's right here. You can start to see how much we're building up the cleanness of line. A lot of people think when they're razor cutting, they think razor cutting is all about creating texture. Yes, it can be, but the razor is as flexible, if not more flexible than a scissor. Because the razor you can cut lines, and with the razor you can create softness. We always encourage every razor cutter to actually cut with the guard on. But over the years, I've become a master and very proficient at creating these beautiful clean lines that you can see right here. What we'll do now is I'll show you a second technique. Se a second technique and a new way how to work with a razor. I'll pre-section to keep it easy. We'll keep your sections nice and clean. Whenever you're razor cutting, it's high tension cutting, so you always wanna make sure you really see the guideline. I'm gonna twist the head just a little. And now what we're gonna do, and you'll notice there's a lot of rotation in the hand when I raise the cut. You'll also notice this finger is disabled because this is the lock. This is holding the blade nice and taut. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come across the hair. We're gonna follow the outline. We're gonna follow the hairline. And now I'm gonna go flat. So when we're doing line work, we're gonna come across the hair, but when we're gonna do softness, we're gonna come flat. So notice the difference. This is flat, this is across. So this is what we call more plain work, and this is where I'm gonna create softness. What we're doing right now is creating an open blade. That open blade, as you work through, you'll see it's very different from what we've been looking at earlier. And what we're gonna to start to see now is softness in the shape. You're gonna follow these lines. The reason why it's a little harder when you are razor cutting to follow your shape is because you're not cutting super clean lines. You're cutting very soft lines. And what you have in your finger is literally what you've left on the head. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're coming down on the flat of the blade and then you'll notice how I always comb it with the wide teeth of the comb. Now look at how precise, but look at how soft the shape is. This will be my last section, and then I'll show you one more key technique when it comes to raising, razoring. The Nick, I have a question. Question. What, what is the biggest mistake artists make with razor cutting? Well, I think the biggest mistake is that a lot of hairdressers don't use this type of a razor. They use more of a straight razor. A straight razor, has a hole in it for the third finger and then this becomes just a texturizing tool. You can't really do a haircut as well when it's just up and down movement. When the, you hold the razor like this, you can actually rotate so much more easily because you're not restricted because of the hole. Biggest mistake ever, they raise it with dull blades because they don't change their blade. Every cut I change my blade. And number two, they raise one hair that's dry. You gotta raise the damp hair, because when you raise the damp hair, it creates all that softness. So that's the flat of the blade. And now I'm gonna show you the third and final technique. So let's just say we've got this haircut done and we like what we've seen, but let's just say it's too dense. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I do a thing called tipping. Don't look at the haircut, just look at the technique. Tipping is using the very tip of the blade and this is for thinning out and making the hair softer. There are different words that you use when you raise the cut. Seamless layering, softness, cutting the hair in 3D. You're not following lines. It's not like architecture. It's more like sculpture. It's like softly creating shapes. It's creating fluidity. When you cut with lines and you follow those lines, guess what? What happens is when you follow those lines is you create structure. When you create structure, the hair doesn't swing and move as much. When you take out some of the bulk in the hair, guess what? The hair actually swings and moves a lot softer. 
So in wrapping up, what I'm going to tell you is the main principle of razor cutting. First, you've got to get the hole. I'll do a quick recap. Rotate. V for victory. Place the razor in. Push with the thumb. Rotate. Now it's like a knife. Opening the blade. And we say this is an open razor. This is a closed razor. You can rotate the razor around. Always make sure that you learn how to hold the comb in these fingers and use this as the, lo the lock. This locks the razor in. And then finally, what I suggest is get a class, learn the technique, stay safe with the guard. Every razor that we sell comes with a guard. And then when you really start to get the balance and the feel and the flow, you can take that guard off and start with you know, unleashing a little bit more fluidity and really sketching those haircuts in. I hope you had a great time, it's been fun. We're about to go into a razor class now as part of the Millennium Conference, the Millennium Experience. So please stay connected. I'm here with Modern Salon, I'm here with Millennium. We're having so much fun. Stay connected and we'll see you throughout the weekend.